Oh, all right, here we go. And right into the set, we got Terry versus Zelda. Okay. All right, and it's on FD. We got Air Swimmer, and who is the Terry again? Uh, T Teapot. Check. Teapot. Teapot. Okay. God bless. Okay. Wow, okay, yeah, Teapot getting really aggressive at the ledge. And, um, you know, who do you, who do you think has the advantage in this matchup? Uh, it's hard to say, really. I, I've never really seen this matchup before. Um, I would yeah. imagine Terry does, just because... I, I don't know, I would just think Terry wins by default, but, you know, Zelda, on the other hand, can be kind of an annoyance. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure how Terry's moves interact with Phantom. If his attacks go through Phantom, then perhaps he might have the edge. It's really hard to say. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like right now, uh, Teapot has been taking a lot of chances getting out of the corner. And it's been working out. It's been working out so far. Um, Because he hasn't really gotten edge ledge trap yet. So. But now we're at pretty much even percents. And yeah. Nice kill. Yeah. In those scramble situations, Terry is usually really dangerous. He has a lot of like really herky jerky fast buttons, and the auto turn really helps him in those type of situations. Ooh. I think that's where it's gonna hurt. When Terry's quote unquote twinkle toes interact with the phantom at the edge, that's where mm -hmm. it gets difficult. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's something that's, that's pretty repeatable. So, it's something to look out for when he's recovering now. So, let's see what happens. Yeah, and good stuff by Air Summer staying patient on block. You know, you see a lot of players um, get a little bit impatient when Terry should do that on block, and you don't really get the punish that they want to. Ooh. Tries to go for the eye shield, doesn't quite get it. Yeah, and um, he's done that off of ledge, um, teapot almost every single time. Yeah, he's he's pressing buttons off of ledge. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> he's pressing buttons right now off of ledge. What? He's gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's gonna do it, man. He's gonna go Ooh. for it. Yeah, okay. I mean it's working out. Yeah, it's working out for him so far. So, I like that neutral B to set him off stage. It's that phantom. Yeah, and uh, a lot of T-Bus strings have been getting broken up by that um Nero's love. Oh <gasps> no! Nero's love. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! You know how I spoke about earlier? how Phantom is really good at covering ledge. Apparently, you can do the same thing with Nairu's love and it does the job at zero. The twinkle toes. That's what I like to call twinkle toes getting sold out. That, that was, was such an unfortunate interaction there. Yeah, it happens. Um. But you know that sometimes uh, you have to uh, expect stuff like that, especially when you play a character that has a recovery like that, and um, have to be ready for those weird interactions and situations. But uh, you know, who could really expect that? <laughs> yeah. Three, two, oh, they're running it back. One, yeah, go. yeah. I, I mean, I can see that. That was really an unfortunate in interaction at the end of the game. So. Yeah. I do think one thing that Teapot was doing really well is that Teapot was putting a lot of pressure on Air Swimmer in the corner. Because he was definitely pressing some buttons, but um... Let's see, ooh, that was a, that was a good vanish. Teleporting right in place. He's been getting, you know what, he's been getting away with that a lot. Yeah, I was expecting a lot more out of shield stuff from Air Swimmer, but it's not really working yeah. out. t Bot is kind of just like matching on hit. Yeah, I'm like I'm really waiting for Air Swimmer to punish that really hard out of the corner. Because he, he's, he's been going for that power dunk almost every single time out of the corner. I'm just waiting for him to Air Swimmer to do something about it. Yeah. Getting that kill. Yeah, and coming back to the legend, that Knight's punished him pretty hard. That's something you were mentioning before. With Terry recovering, that knight seems like pretty potent and pretty uh, annoying to deal with for Terry. Yeah, I'm surprised 
that T-Bot is kind of just running it back to FD as opposed to getting some sort of platform because I think you need that as Terry <laughs> if you want to help navigate around a lot of those defensive tactics that Zelda usually relies on. Yeah, and that's and, you know, and that's a little bit of a disadvantage when it comes to SDing like that or an unfortunate loss like that at the end of the game. You don't really have a lot more foresight than what happened. So in his mind, is his mind, it could have been like, okay, well, it was an even game, and I just SD'd, or I just got hit by some nonsense. So, ooh, nice bait with the air dodge. Yeah. Yeah, and and you could, you could see Air Stormer a little bit trying to trying to punish punish Teapot really hard for anything that's coming out of the corner. <laughs> so. Ooh, I feel like at that point, Air Storm should have upbeat or something. Or done some sort of out of shield option. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Yeah, yo, that was a, that was a really good call by Teapot. Throwing out that uh, Power Geyser. Because yeah. something Air Storm was doing from the corner a lot, was jumping. They're both jumping out of the corner a lot, so... That was a good call out. Just going straight for that uh, Pharaoh's win. Well, they're both mashing their pass buttons. Okay, yeah, these pa yeah these power dunks, man. See if I need power dunks. Can we get a power dunk? Man? That never Not connects. That. <laughs> that, that that was that was good SDI, but air swimmer. And I'm but I'm pretty sure. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, if Terry does. Well. Well, forget what I was saying. Um, well, <laughs> Teapot takes game two. I want to say... I want to say that last doc... He did at least... Teapot did at least... Like, ten air dunk, Ten power dunks, excuse me. That neutral was straight power dunks. <laughs> yeah, and I think like... One or two of them actually connected. But at the moment it did connect, it actually worked effectively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I'm really just waiting for Air Swimmer to like step back and punish that. But if Air Swimmer isn't punishing that hard, then let's see if t just keep doing it. If the person's not stopping, then keep doing whatever you're doing. And it seems like he has a problem. Uh, Air Swimmer just has a problem punishing t for going for, for some of these aerial approaches. Look at all this damage just piling up more and more. 100% in 20 seconds. Nice go. No. Just, just throwing out that power dunk, knowing that the Phantom won't get in his way. Teapot air dodge into him and then just immediately power dunk like it was all good. <laughs> no chill. He does not care whatsoever, and I think it's catching air somewhere a little bit off guard. Because some of that poise you're seeing in game one from Air Swimmer is just not coming out. Because he's just letting Teapot press all the buttons. Yeah. What can Air Swimmer do about that on shield? Just a lot of good shield pressure overall. Mm. Wow. Oh, get another wicket. Okay. Yeah, you need to punish that hard. You need to punish something hard. That that was probably the first hard punish of the set that Air Swimmer got on any one of one of Terry's special moves. Yeah, yeah Air Swimmer needed that to get that stock out. Desperately. So let's see if Air, Air Swimmer can pull this back, because, uh, you know, Teapot has been kind of having their way. Oh, what? <laughs> Yikes. Teapot was like off stage and then just died in like a matter of seconds. Okay, um, yeah, but that was something Air Storm was doing game one, was punishing Teapot's recovery really hard. And that was something that you mentioned, uh, especially when it comes to like Twinkle Star recoveries. Or it's recovering far in general. Yeah. Something that Terry can struggle with. I think that's like the benefit in this matchup. It's like you can cover horizontal recoveries with the Phantom Knight, 
Um, and you can cover a lot of those like vertical recoveries, like power dunk, with either shield, add a shield, uh, Nairu's love, or you can do. Sometimes you can just shield and then get like a jab out. And there's nothing really much you can do from Terry's part. It's yeah. a very scary scenario when you're off stage. And air summer for the first time all set, punishing teapot, going for a power dunk. Yeah, certainly, certainly. Now we're in this last talk scenario. If Terry gets go, who knows how this set will turn out. Yeah, one one thing that Air Swimmer doesn't want to let happen, you don't want to let a character like Terry go last hit with you in scramble situations. Because in those situations, that's where Terry excels. And you do not want that to happen at all. Ooh, okay. Going for it now. Finally going for some of these punishers off of uh, Teapot's Panic ledge options. Oh, nice catch with the F smash. <laughs> yeah, good stuff by, um, by Air Swimmer. Towards the end of that game, you saw Air Swimmer finally going for some of these card hold hard call outs at ledge. Um, where you saw for most of the set, Teapot was kind of just getting out of the corner for free. Um, and uh, the last two stocks of that game, you saw Air Swimmer actually punish the ledge options fairly hard um, in those last two stock situations and you know good stuff air summer oh, that was the top eight qualifier that was the top eight qualifier god bless oh wow what do we have next on deck I think we have Mocho versus Superfire. Ooh. Uh, Greninja versus Wario, I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, those those power ducks were killing me. Those were 